Hey guys, Jacob here with Waterwell FAQ, and today I'd like to do a quick review on um, two of the more common uh, brands of pressure switches that I see in the field, um, touch on some of the features of each and some pros and cons to help uh, you guys make a better and more informed decision about which one works best for you, for you and uh, your customers. So, the two I have in front of me is uh, the Simmons and the Square D Pump Troll. I would say in my market um, in East Texas, we see the uh, Square D being more uh, widely used. Um, and at first glance, they both um, are designed very similar. Um, same style entry and exit, same style lids. And when you open them up, you're not going to see many differences either. Um, and so um, they both have the same adjustment. Uh, Me mechanisms um, with the uh, larger spring here uh, you adjust the uh, on and off pressure equally um, so tightening it raises it loosening it um, decreases it the smaller spring if you tighten it it increases the cut off pressure only and if you loosen it it decreases the cut off pressure only um, moving a step back you're going to notice that the Simmons um, contacts and terminals are protected a little better um, than the uh, Square D. Um, if you're looking directly down on top, you cannot see the pads, um, the contact pads of the uh, Simmons until they open, whereas the Square D are easily accessible here. And I find that to be good and bad. Um, it's good from a protective uh, standpoint. From a service standpoint, it can be a little troublesome if you're trying to clean the pads, um, clean those little contacts in there. Um, it's, they're not as easy to get to because of this uh, plastic housing. Whereas with the Square D, if you're servicing it and cleaning the contacts, um, it's really easy to get to. Uh, moving a step back, you're gonna see the, the terminal, so where you wire to. Um, this is where I think the Simmons has a little bit of a leg up, at least in my opinion. Um, the Simmons has a set screw and a side port entry for your wires. So there is no need for a crimped on uh, connector. You can simply strip the end of your wire like I have um, here and it simply goes into the side of your terminal. Tightens down, and that's it, it's secured. Whereas with the square D, you're using the screw itself to, the head of the screw itself, to tighten down um, to secure the wire to the switch. Now with this type of switch, um, it really is advisable to use a crimped on fork connector. Um, otherwise, you, what I see contractors do is they do one of two things. They either pull the screw out enough so they can get next to it and then tighten down, or they take the wire and they split it and make their own little fork in the wire as such and then slide it in. What that leads to, at least from what I've seen, is to make sure that the wire is secured, they over they end up over tightening the terminal because the wire spreads out, it frays out. And to make sure, like I said, they got it good and tight, they, they end up over tightening it, and then that can lead to issues later down the road if you have to come back and swap a switch, um, or you're disconnecting it, um, these terminals can corrode and get very difficult to uh, loosen. Um, so from that standpoint, um, I think the Simmons kind of has a leg up um, from that design feature alone. Um, they both have dual grounding lugs. Uh, they both have two entry ports uh, on either side. The Square D is going to come with these little plastic uh, push plugs uh, for plugging off uh, a side that you're not using. Um, if you're not using one side, you may be using both sides. Um, and the uh, Simmons comes with these little rubber grommets. Um, I actually like these little rubber grommets. Um, if you're bringing in like a round uh, jacketed SO cable, 
Um, it makes it a nice tight seal pulling the cable through without the need of uh, conduit. Um, but if you are bringing conduit, like a flex conduit, a seal tight or PVC rigid, um, it's really irrelevant because you'll remove those anyway. Um, but other than that, they are both very good switches. Um, serviceability is nice on both. Like I, said, I think it's a little easier to service the uh, square D as far as cleaning the contacts because they're more open. Um, and on that subject, cleaning contacts, um, a little tip I used to carry with me um, canned air, like you can pick up at any um, uh, electronic store, Home, Home Depot even, or Office Depot, Office Max, any um, office supply store has it. Um, and then also a little emery board, um, like a nail file board. Um, they're easy to find, um, they're cheap, um, you can carry them with you, and they make for really good um, pads to clean the contacts with. Um, you can slide it in and just give it a couple of uh, swipes up and down and get a good clean on those pads. With the Simmons here, you can see because of this um, protective housing here, this plastic housing, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but um, it's still doable. So anyway, um, I tend to prefer the Simmons a little more myself simply for the terminals. I really like these terminals. It saves me from having to carry around uh, connectors um, to land my wires on because I don't like landing the bare wire on the Square D terminals. Um, I just don't think it's, uh, one, it doesn't look good, and two, it, to me it doesn't give a good secure um, connection. So I really do like the Simmons design with the uh, little side port entry here for your wires. So. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, I know others will uh, swear by the Square D and there's nothing wrong with the Square D. I've used them both extensively and I just find myself uh, when I have the option grabbing for the Simmons um, more frequently. So anyway, I hope this has been informative for you guys. Um, and uh, if it has, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our other videos on pressure switches, on uh, tuning and adjusting them and uh, wiring switches. I've got some videos up uh, on those. Um, also check out our website at waterwellfaq.com where you can find these videos also. Check out our blog um, and uh, find out ways to reach us and if you have more questions or if you have some content or a topic you'd like us to address, um, you can reach out to us through our website and uh, we'd be more than happy to uh, make videos um, that you guys want to see. So thank you.